Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new product review and this time I want to share with you what you can find in the Gore Chosen game. So this was uh, the last game launched by Games Workshop. It's based on the core heroes uh, doing like a pit fight uh, to see who is the best. So let's see what we can find in this box. Okay, so as you can see, we have the rule book. Okay, we have this part that is the arena, and here are some tokens. We have the cards, and you see that the presentation is normally better than what we are used with Edge Workshop. Here we have the dice, the dice will go here once this is open. We have the bases. These are the places to keep your heroes. Okay, more cards here. Another block of cards here. I did not have time to read, to be fair. As you can see, it's just opening in front of you. It's an unboxing. Uh, and here we have the three heroes. Now I will add uh, the four heroes, sorry, that I will show you more in detail now. Okay, so this is what we have in the content. And now let's make a look more in detail on what we can find. Box. Another detail that I find interesting, look the back of the box. So really very thematic, very corn. I think this is this is great. So let's make a look first on the on the miniatures. Let's zoom in. Okay. So here we have first the slaughter priest. Okay. Uh, is the highly detail of any character that we have on Games Workshop miniatures. Let's see if I can put a better background. Here we have this is the Slaughter Priest with the big axe. Not wrong. Sorry, it's not the Slaughter Priest. This is one of the champions. Let me just be. This is this guy. Okay, what we have here. And the cards to show you how it's looking in the miniature. Interesting to see the cards go wet packed. We have a piece of, co of carton corrugate behind to protect the cards. So it's very kind from Games Workshop. So here we have the first uh, hero of the gold chosen. Here is this guy. He is the. Uh, yeah, it's called Red Ark uh, Blood Fane. So he's one of the. Is thing, I don't remember the exact name. He's one of the champions of corn. Okay. Then we have here this guy. You see the detail also very crisp. It's the same quality that we can find in any miniature from Gange Workshop. Okay, from the heroes. Uh, it's high quality, finishing uh, all very well. This is what we have here. Is this guy. Okay, you see the chain, uh, the helmet, the flames here, so really highly detailed. Then we have, this is the Slaughter Priest, sorry for the mistake before. So this is the, the guy with, uh, this is the Slaughter Priest, is the guy that I'm just painting now, because I have, I have it, uh, I have it in blister before, okay. So we also very high detail. Can tell these miniatures have a lot of detail when you start painting them. You really enjoy painting them. And finally we have another of the champions. This guy, okay. Here we have the axe. This this guy goes with two um, one hand axes. So a very nice detail. Let me show you. Okay, you have armor finishing you have yeah all highlighted the shoulder pads so you you will not regret painting these miniatures then we have you can see i will show you the cards in more detail so these are the cards of the characters let me zoom out a little bit now so these are the cards we have for the characters double side full color nicely done okay I will not go 
displaying what we have in the days. Okay. Of course, we have bases for all these characters. These are the the cards of the game. Okay, this is one of the decks. I will not go into more detail. I I, I didn't, as I said, I have I did not have time. All goes very well placed in the in the box. I'm opening the other one. Sorry. Here we have the other deck. Looks like these are more the injuries and initiative. Okay. And then we have the board and the rule book. Well, let's make a look to the board. So Interesting, we have two sides of the board. You can have this side or you can play in this side. So it seems that the game uh, we can play in two sides, so it's double sided, it's printed in both sides. I don't know if there is any difference in playing one side or the other, but as you can see here, we have two sides highly detailed, nice printing. Okay, sorry. Move and then we have here. This is the the wound counter. Okay, and we have all the different tokens. So I will not remove the tokens from here. You can see it's also um, from both sides. Also, uh, yeah, nice tokens. I guess one is for each champion. Remember, if you have the white dwarf, the slaughter priest that comes in the white dwarf can also be used. The gold chosen <coughs> game, and then here I will open now. I'm opening the rule book. Okay, first of all, we have a small booklet with the instructions to assemble them. Okay, they need to print it, it different because normally it goes in, in a clam pack. So this is fully new, and we have here the rule book. So let's make a look to the rule book. We'll zoom a little bit out, a little, a little bit more, so you can see the full rule book. So as you can see, full color. We start with some introduction, explanations. Okay. Here we have the introduction to the characters. Uh, this is uh, the type of armor we already see in the uh, Ever Chosen, the Archon book, so this comic style. And then we have what is really the rules. So it seems that the rules are going to be quite easy and uh, streamlined, because there is not too many rules. It looks like it's going to be a fun game, so it really looks quite simple. I will go into more detail, and this is all. So you see here, and on top we have the rules that comes in the white dwarf to add another character. So really, a very nice, easy game. Uh, it's a game that, yeah, it can be played against quite fast. And once I have the opportunity, I will do some um, battle reviews on that. So if I have the, once I play the, my first game and I have a little bit of, um, how to call this, uh, agility on the game. I will do some battle reports so you can enjoy and you can see how the game plays. So really happy the miniatures. I want really want to dedicate time to paint the four heroes that come here. Uh, more likely we'll start using the slaughter press that are already almost finished. But I will paint also these uh, four more. So if you are tuning my channel, um, yeah, in, in the short future you will see that I will start painting these guys as well because I really want to start enjoying uh, this game. looks quite fun, looks fine to play, and I'm really enjoying. Just as a detail, look, this, this normally is not seen, but this is the side of the box. So you have the guys at the side of the box. So really, is I will say that Edge Workshop make 
to make here a step forward in terms of presentation, in terms of showing us the game. This is really more like a board game with fancy miniatures. It's not like what Games Workshop used to do, that just to put everything on the box. So now I can keep. You can see it's very well presented, and you have a space here to keep everything. I can keep it this now here, but even the big cards go place it nicely here. Everything protected. You don't have risk of damaging. I think uh, they make the good choice here. We can put here, and then the tokens will go. I guess once uh, the tokens will go uh, in that part, you can put this also in the in this sockets here. So nicely protected. It looks like the, the thermal form is prepared even to absorb more, more um, parts, more things. In, so I will not. I will not be surprised if we have some expansions in future. So. Really happy with this acquisition. I think uh, it's worth it. The price, uh, not too expensive, and you can see the presentation is really nice, high notch. So, yeah, if you are thinking of gold choosing, I think it's a great. Uh, yeah, it looks great. I cannot say it's a great game. I have not played yet, but looking forward. And if you want to see how this is played soon in this channel, you may see some battles. Uh, that's all for now. Please uh, comment, let me know what do you think and if you have played the game, let me know what do you think about the game. That's all for now. Leave your comment below like if you have liked it. And if you want to support my channel, just I let you know that I have a Patreon account. Uh, all the, the money I, I take from my channel is used uh, to, to have more material and to have um, and to have better equipment to do my videos. That's all for now. As usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye!